the largest real value of a for which the equation modulus of x plus a plus modulus of x minus 1 equal to 2 has an infinite number of solutions for x. Nice. Nice simple question. And so if you have x here and 1 here, this is modulus of x minus 1. Modulus of x minus 1 is nothing but the distance between x and 1. It has an infinite number of solutions. Modulus of x minus 1 plus modulus of x plus a equal to 2. I want to think about x plus a, this, as modulus of x minus minus a. And so, the, the, it will have infinite solutions. So, if minus a were here, okay, x could be here, 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 put x equal to 2. And so, now, think about it. When will it have infinite solutions? First of all, between 1 and minus a, the, the distance should be not 5 or 15 or 20, it should be small. Right? Because this is modulus of x minus 1, this is modulus of x plus a. If minus a were 100, this distance itself is 99. It has infinite number of solutions that gives us one beautiful getaway. It tells us that x should sit between 1 and minus a. We have 1 here, we have minus a here, this distance should be 2, x being anywhere here, this plus this will be 2 or minus a could be here, this distance being 2, x being anywhere here, this distance plus this distance will be 2 and that is the kind of scenario we are looking for. And for Otherwise, there will be a unique number of solutions, so values for which it will work. And an infinite number of solutions, we are basically saying x, should, we should be able to say x can be anywhere between 1 and a and this will work. Anywhere between 1 and a it will work, the distance will be 2. That means x is bang in between 1 and a. And the distance between 1 and a is 2. Sorry, not 1 and a, 1 and minus a. Or minus a could be 3, minus a could be minus 1 a is 1 or a is minus 3. Both of these will be possible. So, we are either thinking x lies between 1 and 3 or thinking x lies between minus 1 and 1. So, a is minus 3 or a is 1. Largest real value is 1. Minus 3 is not available. 1 works. So, we are basically looking at a to be 2 units from 1. This is between x and 1 is given. If x if 1 and a were 2 units apart, then x can be anywhere in between. This will hold good. We will have an infinite number of solutions. And so, the more algebraic way of doing it, saying I denote the turning points as minus a and plus 1. We know that mod x equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 to minus x if x is less than 0. We are basically saying I can say this x plus a plus x minus 1 equal to 2. That is one possibility. Where this is positive, this is positive. Or minus x minus a minus x plus 1 equal to 2. That both are negative. Or x plus a plus 1 minus x equal to 2. Or minus x minus a plus x minus 1 equal to 2. You solve for this, we get 2x equal to 3 minus a, we get two solutions. We get minus 2x equal to 1 plus a, we get two solutions. You solve for this, a plus 1 equal to 2, a is 1. You solve for this, we get minus a equal to 3, a is minus 3. If a were 1, if a were minus 3, any x will hold good here. That's what we are solving for. Therefore, a could be 1 or minus 3, largest value is 1. That's the algebraic brute force way of solving it. And again, a beautiful method, but the, the longer method works better. The visual method works better.